Hello, I'm Shawnee Davis from San Diego, California, and I'm a wife and mother of four wonderful daughters and two adorable grandsons. I'm grateful to LACNETS for the opportunity to share my story about living with metastatic pancreatic net and Zollinger-Ellison syndrome associated with functioning neuroendocrine tumors or gastrinomas. In the summer of 2012, a visit to the ER due to uncontrolled vomiting and diarrhea prompted a CT scan that showed a large six centimeter mass on my pancreas. Although they correctly diagnosed that it was neuroendocrine cancer and knew it was incurable and likely slow growing, they did not indicate whether my tumor was functioning. Although I had half of my pancreas and spleen surgically removed, my cancer metastasized to my liver and I began the standard treatment of care. It wasn't until five years later that we learned the hard way about functioning tumors and a rare syndrome of NET called Zollinger-Ellison syndrome that causes my tumors to produce a peptide hormone gastrin that stimulates far too much stomach acid. Unfortunately, we didn't know about this complication until it nearly took my life in 2017. For a few months prior, I was experiencing horrible acid reflux that felt like battery acid. At least that's how I would describe it. For months, I felt awful. I couldn't eat. I felt like I couldn't even catch my breath. And then the uncontrolled vomiting and diarrhea began. Finally, after being admitted to the hospital for stabbing pain, they realized my duodenum had ruptured and I was rushed into emergency exploratory surgery. They found a one inch perforation that could not be surgically fixed. A feeding tube was placed in my jejunum and several drains in my abdomen. I was devastated when the surgeon advised I was not likely to heal and that I would never be able to eat or drink again. Palliative care gave me no more than six months to live. They didn't think I would even make it to my 69th birthday, which was only a month away. The next few weeks in the hospital were a nightmare and the cause of the rupture was still a mystery to the medical team. Thanks to a call with an outside net expert who suggested checking my gastrin level, we found that my gastrin was close to 17,000. The normal range is less than 100. Now we were at least able to use high dose proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, to help block the acid from further damaging my organs. After nearly a month in the hospital, I was able to go home with a portable feeding tube and drains, but still needing an extensive amount of critical care for my family. After another month of recovery, my rupture inexplicably and miraculously healed. My doctors all said that I was a walking miracle. I was able to eat and drink again, thankfully, right before Thanksgiving. Food never tasted so good. I slowly got my strength back and was able to undergo two chemo embolizations and four rounds of PRRT, Lutathera, that reduced my tumor burden and got my gastrin levels down to the low hundreds. My monthly lamreotide injections help control the gastrin production as well. For the last few years, I felt like I've been able to resume my normal life and enjoy my family and friends. I cannot stress enough how important it is to know whether your tumors are functioning and the essential information about your net so that you will get the most effective care possible. We had seen a handful of specialists and done many scopes, scans, and even genomic testing, but we missed a critical piece of my net diagnosis. I'm pleased that a cancer institution has since implemented a protocol to ensure all patients have been assessed for all types of functioning tumors based on my experience. Thank goodness LACNETS created a net vitals tool that informs you of exactly what you need to know about your particular type of net and can prevent this from happening to anyone else. 
Now, five years later, and at almost 75, I am so grateful that my life has been extended with the guidance of my net experts and a variety of treatments. My tumors and gastrin levels have been stable until recently. Overall, I've survived with net cancer for nearly 11 years. Thanks to the prayers on my behalf, my faith, advocacy for net and caregiving. I certainly hope my story helps so they don't have to endure what I did. Zollinger Ellison syndrome can easily be diagnosed with simple blood work and information from pathology. It shouldn't require a miracle.